All right, dead leg. Let's get into it. On Tuesday night, Kansas beat Texas Tech 67-63 to secure at least to share the Big 12 title for the 17th time in 20 seasons under Bill Self. It is a ridiculous accomplishment. Obviously, uh, I have no idea what the so-called power conference is going to look like going forward. Neither does the Pac-12 commissioner. That said, I am comfortable saying no power conference coach will ever again win 17 conference regular season titles in 20 years. My first question for you, dead leg, do you agree with that statement? I do agree with that statement. And I saw earlier this morning, let me bring it up so I got it right. Did you see CJ Moore's tweet on this? I, I I actually read his story at the Athletic because it had a lot of um really a lot of good, stuff in it. Like I know the surface level, um, like this is amazing. Let me tell you how in thirty seconds type of stuff for television. But CJ had some more stuff in there. Among them, that since Bill Self has been at Kansas and won seventeen regular season titles, the school that is in second place is North Carolina with nine. He has eight more conference titles in the past 20 years um, than any other school in a high major league. And if Bill Self, uh, this is CJ's tweet, if Bill Self were, were a university, which seems like... <laughs> Bill Self should be a university. Exactly. That's, that, 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 the university of Bill that Self. That's perfect for this podcast. If Bill <laughs> Self were a university... He well, should be. The There'd University of Bill if that were the case, let's be real. But if he were a university, he'd rank ninth all time in regular season high major conference championships as a person if he were a university. So this is never going to be duplicated. And what I said on HQ last night, and I think this morning I did an overnight hit too. I said uh, KU should be a lock for one seed, I think, two games ago. Now it's undeniable. There's Kansas is going to be a lock. That They're one seed. There's nothing that's going to happen. They got 15 quad one wins. It's a record. They're going to get more. Um, number one overall seed should actually probably be Kansas right now. Should Kansas be the number one team in the country? The metrics still have Houston. In fact, kind of strangely enough, uh, Kansas is behind Purdue in, in predict metrics. If you want to just strictly go Ken Palm right now, and some of this is because it's lost, but it's Houston. UCLA, Bama, Tennessee, Connecticut, Purdue, Kansas is seventh at Ken Palm. So there is a little bit of a, a divergence here in terms of when we watch Kansas. And it did get pushed. I mean, it got pushed by Texas Tech. And boy, that was just a sour, sour way for it to go for Tech fans. When you see Kevin McCuller get that ball on the scramble and hit the putback after it, feel, it felt like six different guys were trying to get their hands on it in the closing seconds there. So they did get a tight, a tight, tight game against Texas Tech, which is outside the tournament picture. But Kansas, in many ways, feels like right there with Houston is maybe just the, the team you trust most or that might be most deserving of of uh, of number one billing. And I actually think right now I would put Kansas as the number one overall seed in the field ahead of Houston, ahead of Alabama and ahead of UCLA. Bracket projections aren't going to reflect that, but this might just be a matter of of time more than anything else, because the more quad one wins that get racked up, if they come got to win at Texas this weekend. But if that happens, I just think the high end is going to be so irrefutable. And plus like they'll have six losses at most. Um, there will be a very, very good case for it. Well, let me ask you this because um, I, I'm genuinely co not conflicted. That's not the right word, but um, confused on how to handle this. I I'm usually pretty certain. I, I mean, I, while acknowledging all of any kind of ranking or seeding is subjective, I'm usually pretty certain and like, well, this is what I should do about this team or that team or whatever team. Um, I don't know how to handle this Kansas situation right now because currently I have them, the Jayhawks, behind Houston and Alabama. It's one Houston, two Alabama, three Kansas in the top 25, and one. If you care, four UCLA, five Purdue. Um, Houston – is better in just about every computer, if not every computer. Um, Alabama is also having a historically great season in its league. But Kansas does have four more Quadrant One wins than anybody else in the country. Kansas has six more Quadrant One wins than Alabama and 11 more Quadrant One wins than Houston. At what point do you, as a bracketologist, or somebody who ranks basketball teams just say, I'm going to respect the 15 and five record in quadrant one with zero additional losses. 
and I'm jumping Kansas right to the top. Kansas should be number one in the AP poll, coaches poll, top 25 and one. Hey, 19. And <laughs> yes, the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, I wrestled with this uh, last night and today. I've, I've made my decision. Uh, Houston uh, will be number one in the Hey 19 because I do also reward a significant winning streaks. Houston has one loss since December 10th, and it is comfortably the number one team in the country in metrics. So I will have Houston one. I will have Kansas two. But to your question here, a lot of this gets cleared up by Saturday night because if Kansas does go into Texas – and gets the win on the Longhorns floor. And we'll see if that's for a share or not. Texas is playing at TCU. It's the best game of the night on Wednesday. If Texas wins that, then it can win on Saturday. A scenario we, we put forward to everyone here a couple episodes back. And they can share a title. By the way, Texas has not shared or finished atop the Big 12 standings. Trivia time. Do you know it? I said it on HQ. Do you know the year? When Texas finished last finished atop the Big 12 standings. That's right. The year after Kevin Durant. You are bingo, bango on the money. 2008 was the last time Texas could claim any kind of share of a regular season title in I just, the Big 12. I, I just remember saying that a lot back then. Like, okay. um, Texas lost Kevin Durant and got better. Like, that was a fact. Yeah. Seems crazy, but that was a fact. Um, I'm seeing comments here. I thought about this exact same, too. Like, let's get Houston in the Big 12. This will be interesting if Houston can be this kind of team next season. And and once it's in the Big 12 and, and how we uh, how we will view the Cougars, obviously, they're going to take more than two losses. Even if they had the same exact roster in the Big 12, they wouldn't be able to sustain this. But Houston does rank as the number one team. Again, comfortably in all predictive metrics, Houston is rates as the best team in college basketball. And when it comes to, like, seeding overall, it hasn't had the same opportunities. I don't want to punish Houston for the league that it plays in because it has proven it uh, this season and pre previous seasons don't matter, should not matter when it comes to seeding. But in terms of perception, there is no avoiding it. Houston made a final four two years ago. Last season, it knocked off an Arizona team that a lot of people thought was capable of uh, certainly going to the final four, if not winning a national championship. So the reputation of Houston has been improved. Although that being said, I still don't think it's getting quite enough credit for being hello rated as the best team in the sport for about two months. That all said, if you want to have the case here for Kansas, I, I'm with you on that. We talked about it in the previous show, self front runner for national coach of the year. I'm still there on that. Shaka Smart is still my number two, but it's a good debate. And that debate probably gets closed in terms of Kansas's, I don't want to say close, close, I guess. But if Kansas wins at Texas this weekend, I just don't think, I don't think personally, a road win at Texas, another Q1 win up to 16, there's really keeping KU off the number one overall seed. And as a few viewers in our chat have pointed out, there's actually a, a good subplot to all of this in that Purdue and Kansas will be fighting for the Midwest. And I mean, Purdue could go to Louisville. It doesn't really matter. I guess it doesn't really matter all that much there, but um, the number one overall seed gets to pick the path. The first week and the second week in destination, no other school gets afforded that opportunity. You have to be the number one overall seed to get that option. I can't get my head to move on from Bill Self University. He really should be his own university. Remember, like, when Kanye West was going to start his own religion? And then, and then, of course, he, like, said a bunch of wild stuff, and now he's disappeared, and we're not even allowed yeah. to listen to his music anymore or wear his shoes. But there was a time where he was like, I don't need to be a part of somebody else's religion. I can just start my own religion. I feel like Bill Self could do that um, as it pertains to a university. You start Bill Self University. You apply for... Accreditation? Admission? I don't think you need that. Okay. I, I don't know. If, I don't know if Bill Self University would be accepted. We, you know, the, the people that are just seeing the jokes fly through their head right now. I, I hear you. I, hear I you. think Bill Self University would be. I would enroll my children there. Yeah. <laughs> I would enroll my children there. We'd get an Adidas scholarship, and we go to Bill Self University, and then we would apply for admission to the Big Twelve. And then he, what if he just started winning Big Twelve titles nonstop at Bill Self University? Wouldn't that be amazing? It would. I mean, if it we have would. Oral Roberts University, I don't know why we can't have Bill Self University. Uh, uh, exactly. And Bill Self, connection to Oral Roberts. Yes. Former coach there. So, so there we go. By the way, one more thing I just want to correct myself. Yeah. Someone else is also pointing out Houston vying for that seed for, and it would like to go to Kansas City. So Purdue would certainly be in Louisville, probably. Kansas City is the other regional. That would be Kansas. And so Kansas and Houston are more fighting for territory, if you will, for second weekend, which which does mean a lot. I mean, it's the difference between going to Vegas or potentially Louisville or New York City. Not the end of the world, but you want to travel as close to home as possible. Just some stuff on Kansas that 
highlights exactly how incredible this is. Because as I said on Inside College Basketball on Tuesday night, we just sort of gloss over this stuff. Like, hey, yeah, 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 Kansas won another Big 12 title. Like, well, it, it's almost like, well, of course they did. That's what they always do. Um, but it shouldn't be glossed over. This is absolutely insane what Bill Self is doing and has been doing for 20 years. First off, from last season's team, they lost six of their top eight scores, including two first-round picks, 74% of their scoring. And now they've won a 17th Big 12 title. And like you noted, it could be an outright title if Texas loses at TCU on Wednesday night or if Kansas wins at Texas on Saturday. And if it becomes an outright title, it'll be 12 outright Big 12 titles in 20 years at Kansas, 17 Big 12 titles, at least a share of them in 20 years at Kansas. As I've noted before, Mike Krzyzewski was at Duke for 42 years. He's widely considered the GOAT of men's college basketball coaching. 42 years at Duke, he won 13 regular season conference championships. Again, Bill Self has 17 and 20. Bill Self has four more conference championships in 22 fewer seasons at his school than Mike Krzyzewski won at Duke. That's insane. Um, here's what's also part of this story. Bill Self won two WAC regular season titles at Tulsa and two Big Ten regular season titles at Illinois. So check this out. That means Bill Self has coached in three different leagues in the past 25 years and won 21 regular season conference championships in that span. What? What are we talking about here? What are we even talking about here? Dozier for the championship. And the other thing that makes it interesting is, I don't want to paint with a broad brush here, but in modern history, you look at most of John Calipari's great teams at Kentucky, and it's mostly tied to you just enrolled incredible five-star freshman projected lottery picks. It's John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins. It's Carl Anthony Towns, Devin Booker. You get the point. Anthony, uh, uh, Anthony Davis, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, right? At, at, at Kansas, this team is mostly guys who were on last season's team, and they're just – they've developed and they're playing bigger roles. Jalen Wilson was the third leading scorer on last season's team, 11.1 points per game. He's now the leading scorer at Kansas, 19.6. Yes, after that, it's Grady Dick, a five-star freshman, and Kevin McCullough, a transfer from Texas Tech. But after that, fourth-leading scorer, K.J. Adams, averaged one point per game last season. Now he's at 10.6. After that, Dewan Harris, averaged 5.4 points per game last season, now 8.7 starting point guard. Joseph Yesipu, 2.1 points per game last season, 3.7 this season. A slight increase, but he's a meaningful player this season. In other words, this isn't like, Bill Self enrolled the top-ranked recruiting class in the country with three projected lottery picks, and that's how Kansas is competing for a national championship again. Kansas is largely competing for back-to-back -back national titles because role players on last season's team have developed into meaningful players, if not stars, um, for, for this season's team. Four of the top six scores at Kansas – we're on last season's team. They're now just playing bigger roles, and they're flourishing. And it is why, like I've said many times over the past few days, Bill Self would get my vote for National Coach of the Year. I understand a vote. Like, if you just said right now, hey, GP, here's 500 bucks. Can you make a case for Shaka Smart? I could convince you that Shaka Smart should be the National Coach of the Year. There's a compelling, if not convincing, case to be made for Shaka. I got no problem with anybody saying my vote would go to Shaka Smart but I would lean ever so slightly to Bill Self based on everything I just said.